Hey there, I'm Eric, and in this video I'm going to reprogram a Bafang motor. This can be done on the BBS 01, 02, and the BBS HD. First thing you're going to need is one of these programming cables. You can find this down in the description below. The other thing you're going to need is a cell phone. This can also be done on a laptop, but in this video, the easiest thing I find is to use a cell phone. And then the last but not least thing you're going to need is a little, as a lot of people call it, a dongle, or as I like to call them back in the day, an adapter. You take the adapter and you basically just plug it into the end there, and then that gives me, um, for my phone, the USB-C connection, which allow me to connect into it. So one of the first things you're going to do before you hook anything up is you're going to want to plug battery into your bike or turn it on basically using the on switch if you have one on the side. For my case, I'm going to plug it in. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is find the wire that goes to your screen, trace it back to its connector, and go ahead and unplug it. And it should be the green one. Now with that unplugged, we're going to go ahead and plug the programming cable in. Don't plug your phone into it yet. But once again, just match up the arrows for that and go ahead and plug it in. Making sure you don't hit your uh, throttle or a pedal or anything because this will make your bike live. One of the nice things about this is, is say you're ever out and about, you have a problem with your screens, still have function on your bike. Example, so I've got the screen unplugged and we got the device plugged in. You can see the red light on it to see that it's active now. Now I'm just going to lift up the back wheel and accelerate just to show you an example that it does make the bike uh, totally alive again. So yeah, she, she's ready to, to rip pretty much. Just caution as you're programming the bike not to hit any of those. But it is a cool feature because, well that's a backup to be able to keep it bike going again if the screen breaks which like I said I, I have broke two screens before uh, it usually just means the pedal home but now with the little adapter and the toolkit even if you don't look into reprogramming it's just a nice emergency device to have because otherwise you're you're going to be pedaling normal if your screen breaks. So now that we got that plugged in and the red lights on okay the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to your phone and go to the play store and search for an app called Speed but it has three E's in it. And of course I got to tell it once again to do the one with the three E's in it. Definitely tell it, yeah, I meant speed with three E's because it tries to auto correct your spelling. So once you got that, go ahead and install that app. Okay, and go ahead and open up that app. Nice. You're gonna to wanna to connect your dongle that connects into your phone and it'll connect to a normal USB. Put that in and go ahead and hook the bike up to the phone. Okay, now that we have it added into the phone, go ahead and hit the connect button. Grant it permission. Okay, now we're connected. I can see it's a 48 volt, maximum 30 amp. Okay, the first thing you want to do after you connect then is go ahead and you're going to want to save your profile just in case you mess anything up. And we'll just call this one default the thing. And we'll go ahead and save that. And of course, I'm going to allow access. Yeah, okay, so the settings have been saved. So if I screw anything up, they'll be able to revert back to it and be able to fix it. Okay, now one of the other cool things you can do, say if your screen was down and you still wanted to display, there's all your controls right there. So you can see your speed and you can change your pedal assist levels. You basically have full function of your uh, bike again, which that's, I definitely like that feature uh, too for uh, light, lightweight purposes. Uh, you can almost go without a screen then. Uh, let's go over to the settings now. This is really what I wanted to get into here. And then the first thing you want to do once you get into each screen is you're going to want to head and go ahead and hit the read button. And that'll give you your current settings, which I can see here my wheel diameter is off. So I'm going to set that to 29 and I was, I was actually probably, yeah, I would have been under reporting my speed wow okay that's cool to know so i was going faster than i thought i was I see speed meter type that that's the same signal that would be the same current limit okay that i could change like the maximum uh, input the engine would take from each battery that will be the same at the moment but say if i had a battery that could take i knew like 1800 watts coming out of it i could up that uh, low battery protection i'm going to go ahead and have the battery govern that so i'm going to put that at the lowest point now to get done with each setting on each page, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the right button on that. And then that writes the settings right to the controller, so that's all set like that now. Now we can go over to levels. And levels here, once again, once you get to the page, you're going to want to hit read right away, the first thing you do when you get into it. So pedal assist one, that maximum speed 44, 
Uh, at the moment, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave all these the same. But yeah, I can adjust each one of my settings. Say if I wanted my max current in the first one to be 10%, and then I could have it give me 100% speed. Say for touring reasons, to have a better efficiency. But this is uh, I'll definitely play around with these settings here. So I didn't change anything there. Let's go ahead and go to the pedal assist screen there. And once again, the first thing you want to do when you go to the screen, you want to go ahead and hit the read button. Those will give you your current settings. But I really have to say, I like the app that they developed here. But as a software designer, I would have made a lot of this stuff automatic. But anyways, I'm picking at it. All right, start current, 50%, speed, speed limit by display command. So yeah, the pedal assist will control that. Slow start mode, start start degree. I have no idea that what that is. Work mode, yeah, I don't know what that is either. Stop delay, uh, that's probably for the shifting right there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna look a little bit more into the stop delay, keep current. <laughs> I also have no idea what that is. So I didn't change anything on this page. Let's go ahead and go over to the throttle. And once again, the first thing you want to do when you go to the screen, you want to go ahead and hit the read button. Those will give you your current settings. Uh, start voltage, um, I'd assume that's when it kicks in, end voltage. I'm not 100% sure what that does either. Let's see, mode, speed, current. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not, not too, too sure what that is. Designated assist level um, for the throttle by display. Uh, no. I want that all the way at maximum with the throttle. So pretty much the throttles all the way on there. Yeah, that, that 40 kilometer an hour thing, that's not true either because I already knew I did like 33, which I think I was doing quite a bit faster than that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I got the that set to that. Uh, speed limit by display command. Yeah, I kind of want that on max too there. Start current 10%. Uh, that should be fine there. I'm going to go ahead and write that all to the bike. I got everything in the way I like it. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home screen and I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the app from it. Now it should be pretty safe to remove the phone and the dongle. Okay, now that I've got it all programmed, I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in here. I'm going to turn on the bike and now just to check to see if everything's set right, I'm going to go ahead and hit the throttle and see if uh, it works. Which it does, it's giving me uh, full power now. I'm up to, looks like it wants to go up to, looks like it wants to go up to 41 miles per hour on that, which is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that's not too bad for uh, a bike right there. It's a little scary. I've been up to stop that. 44 on a bike, but that was going downhill with a little bit of wind on my back at the moment. I was using no electric parts, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna go and take this out on the road, test it out real quick now that I have the full throttle all the time. I just find it much safer when you're at a light or something, you gotta take off, it, not to have to mess with the pedal assist. Pretty safe not to hit the throttle when I don't mean to and have the brake cut off. Thanks for watching, and I guess the next video maybe will be a speed test on it. So, maybe. Either that or the internal cable routing, one of those two. Take it easy. Later, man. Yep, cut. That's a wrap. Oh, Your rip snorter. <laughs>